Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn local storage by building a to-do app. Step 28, all right. So now we should display the cancel and discard buttons to the user only if there is some text preset in the input fields, right? So yeah, right now, uh, this is all empty, but when we press this, it still says save changes or discard them when there's really no point, right? Uh, so for that, what we're going to do is begin by with <laughs> to, so to begin within close task form button event listener we're within this thing, uh, we're going to create a form inputs contain values variable to check if there is a value in the title input field or the data, pardon me, the date input field or the description input field. All right. So yeah, we're gonna be checking the values of these three things. So we already have those values up here. So we'll be using this, but first let's say const. Const form inputs contain values like this, and that's gonna equal. And then up here, we'll just drag all three of these down. So let's highlight title input dot value, hold down alt, get uh, date input dot value, and then while we're still holding down all, we'll get description input dot value like that. So let's copy this and let's bring it down here, drop it off like that. So after title input value, let's say space, pipe, pipe, space, delete, end, space, pipe, pipe, space, delete, like that. And that will bring them all in line and it'll look good enough for us. So let's check the code. All right, looks good. So basically what this is saying, if this, exists or this exists or this exists uh it'll be it'll give true so this is a boolean right now if these if any of these exist it's true and if they're they don't exist this thing's going to be a false right so we uh the, what was it check the code looks good and submit it all right now we're on to step 29 and we'll see you next time